Now, I'm going to give you some details now on the pick of the day. Here's what it is, and as you can see, this is the uh, Bissell 9400. It comes with a 1.42 litre wash and protect pet stain and odour remover, um, and uh, it comes with a... Um, uh, two-year warranty as well so you're getting your bottles of cleaner in here to get started as well but this is the granddaddy of all bristles uh, all bristles all bristles even um, and this is the one that just everybody wants to go for if your budget can stretch to it because this really does the job incredibly well right so 164606 is the item number let's have a look at it in action first shall we now, you'll have seen many, many Bissell shows before. What we're looking at is a machine that will literally clean your carpet quite, quite incredibly. Look at that, everybody. I mean, that's cleaning. That's not just clean, that's Bissell clean, everybody. We're talking about something that's getting down into the pile of the carpet and removing the dirt. And are you using the, um, are you using the liquid yet? Have you actually... I'm using liquid at the moment. What okay. we've done is we've made this deliberately dirty. Yes. And this has been on for... Oh, it's been drying in under the studio, the studio lights for quite some time now. So, so on here we've got a collection of bra uh, gravy and coffee and stuff that's ground into the carpet. And a whole lot of stuff that I poured on earlier on in the day. Um, and it's not just your stains, Martin. You can have a clean carpet. You can have a carpet that looks very clean. You said that you've got a very nice vacuum cleaner. Yeah. And your carpet will look clean on the surface. Absolutely yeah, it does. guarantee it will. It does, yeah. What, you, what your vacuum cleaner won't do is get to the very bottom of your carpet. No. Because and it's this, not meant to. Well, this is the problem with me. And, and in our case, I mean, it's cats that have been sick. Yep. And it might have been during the day and you go home in the evening and the remains of the... The sick is there, but all the liquid will have soaked into the carpet. Exactly. And you can't really get to that. And that's what we want to clean up. That's what you want to deep clean your carpet. Maybe you've wanted to clean your carpets for ages and you've actually had somebody to quote you to clean your carpets. It's going to be a two-day job. You've got to remove all the furniture from the room and you're not allowed to go back into it until the carpet's dry. The thing with a Bissell, and I know this from experience, Phil's our expert guest, but I know this from experience, is that that carpet is almost touch dry yep. from the start. OK, how good is this, though? Can we throw it some challenges? Certainly. What would you like to put well, on I'll it? tell you what, before we do, just tell me a little bit more about yeah. it and okay. why this, the 9400 version, <laughs> is such a good one. ProHeat 2X. We have um, a top level of machines called the ProHeat 2X, of, of which this is one. OK. They come in different colours. OK. Um, called 2X because it's two times. First of all, two times the brushes. Right. So you've got two rows of brushes... Each ah. with six rows of bristles on. So it's twice as good then. So you've got 12 rows of brushes. Right. 12 rows of bristles going over your carpet, getting the formula right into okay. the carpet, grooming the carpet as you go. Okay. You've got a tank in tank. Right. Easy to lift off, no catches, no levers, nothing, nothing like that. Right. And there we go. What we have is an inner tank, <clears throat> a polyethylene bag filled right. with clean water. Okay. And the dirty water goes around the outside. I'm understanding. So you're yeah. only ever putting clean water onto your carpet. The dirty water's kept away and separate. OK. That just slots on there. Where's the formula? Formula's okay. in a separate tank. Ah, right, OK, so I'm not having to add this and mix it and what have you. Don't it's have a to separate mix it. tank. OK. But what's the advantage of a separate tank? Well, the advantage is, what if you get to an area that's really dirty? Yeah. Instead of going over it again and again, yeah. you turn the formula up. So ah. you've got a heavy traffic setting, a normal clean setting, a light clean setting, and a water rinse. Brilliant. You might have only cleaned it last week, you just want to freshen up. Just yeah, do a of light course. clean. Yeah, of course. Maybe you think, oh, I've left a little bit of soap on there, I'll just do a water rinse. Okay. I'm over by the front door, it's really dirty, yeah, I need heavy that. traffic. Yeah. Turn it up, more formula in. Need that. And then when you do that, turn it back down again. Brilliant. OK, so you're in control of the cleaning power of this super Bissell. We okay. said we've got two times the brushes. What we've also got is two times the heat. Right. Now, the Pro Heats have a built-in heater. No other brand has a built-in heater. OK. Check your specifications in your catalogues. OK. Built-in heater on Bissell's only. What it does, it makes the, wa the water the perfect temperature all the time for your carpet. And that's easier to clean with, isn't it? Hot water always works best. You wash your hands in hot or warm water, you wash your clothes yeah. in hot water. Yeah. Hot water's always best. OK. So this makes sure it's always at the right temperature. It heats it through the base, as some of our other machines do. This has got this heats it through the hose as well. So if you're doing your stairs, for example, you're, again, always getting the right temperature. OK. Your hose, we were going to get someone to measure it, but we've come to the conclusion that it is, it is longer than a tall bloke. Well, I'm, yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty, pretty long. Yeah. I would say that's probably about I, three metres. I think about three metres, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, OK. 
So what do you use the hose for? Well, you can do it for little tough stains if you just had a little spill. You don't okay. want to drag the whole machine out. Right. But what about your stairs? Yeah, true, yes. Yeah. We'll switch it around to tools, like that. Okay, so you've turned it from floor cleaner to tools. tools. You don't have to attach anything, it's already on. And then what we do... We spray with the trigger. I'm just going to have Sorry. to move this over so everybody can yeah. see. There we go. Spray with the trigger. Do you see the formula coming out there? Well, I certainly can, yeah. There you go, you can see and it at home now. We gently massage it into the carpet. Don't need to scrub, just a gentle massaging action. action. And then... I want my carpets to be that clean again. And the only way you can do it, I believe, is with a bit Look at that. And, of course, if you're doing a lot of stairs, you might say, I'm going to take some of the effort out of this. I'm going to put on my turbo brush. Can I have a go? Of course you can. Help yourself. Because I've never actually had a go before. This, this, is, the, this is the turbo brush, so you yep. can see it's already going round. OK, so I'm letting out some of the uh, yep. fluid here. I'll let the turbo brush work it in for you. OK, so can you see the fluid coming out, yeah? OK. And then all I'm literally doing is just generally yep. massaging that in. And then when you finish massaging it, turn it to suction. OK, turn it to su... Oh, my word, look at that. Hope you can see this at home. Whoa! Look at that. So what we're doing is we're taking out the fluid that's doing the cleaning for... Oh, the, look how clean it's getting the carpet. That is pretty, pretty impressive, I've got to say. First time I've ever had the opportunity to try that. I hope you can see this at home, because that is really, really impressive. But what about in there, Martin? Ah, well, my mum said you lick your finger and, and rub your finger and get all the fluff out from in the risers. Well, you get a credit tool. Here you get a sore finger after a bit. And you spray in like that. Oh, look at this. And there you go. The credit right, tool will do I'm the not job even going to scrub this. No. I tell you what, has anybody ever cleaned that part of the stairs at home before? I bet you haven't. Not cleaned it, cleaned it like you're cleaning with a bissel. OK, I'm extremely impressed. And not just your stairs, Martin. Your right. upholstery. OK, the problem footstools. is, though, the problem is, though, is that particularly with some of the floor managers here, mm -hmm. they like to have parties, yeah? <laughs> and they get their lager, right? They get their lager and the latest, you know, chart-topping hit in the charts come on and they start and, and they start spilling their beer. Uh, that's how they dance. I've seen them. They dance like that. And they start... St and, oh, I'm sorry, I've spilt my beer in, in your home. And then, of course, there's the driver, who's nominated driver. He has his orange juice. But, but he's dancing as well. Uh, oh, sorry, oh, he's da dancing as well. And that happens, OK? You don't mind me doing this, do you? Not at all. OK. Um, you knock yourself out. Yeah. And then, of course, there's always one that doesn't like orange juice. So he'll have a milk, OK? And, of course, yeah, maybe there's a baby. And some milk gets spilt. Milk gets spilt on the carpet as well. Uh, and then we've got um, the weird ones. <laughs> Some of them have a foam party, other than others like a custard party. Look, so the, cus the cust custard goes everywhere. Needless to say, I don't know any of these people, but me, I'm a good boy. I'd have the diet cola, but I do drop things occasionally, and you could have a bit of an accident like that. Now, Phil's been looking at me with a smile on his face because he knows that the Bissell can deal with something like that. That's nothing, Martin. It's, you remember a party? Yep. They might spill this, then they might tread on it. Ah! Oh, and they might push no. it. Right, they might push it right into the carpet, oh, Martin. Oh no! Look at the state of your shoes. Because oh dear. Okay. They're dedicated to the task. Now, what you've just seen live is us put beer, cola, orange juice, milk and custard into the carpet. And then this man's come along and trodden it into the carpet. Now, in my mind, that's a new carpet for me, because that's a disaster, isn't it? you don't want a bissel. So, I want to see if this pick of the day for 249.99 on FlexiPay can deal with something like this. Now, this is probably never going to happen in your home, but if the Bissell can deal with something as extreme as this, surely this is something you should have in your home to clean your carpet. So, so let's what I'm going to do, Martin. Okay. Trigger's there for the soap. I'm going to yep. leave the trigger alone. Okay. I'm just going to push it and just have the vacuum. And look, you can see it's, it's picking the stuff up already. 
pushing a bit of custard along, but that'll go in, inside in a minute. Oh, no, my word. I haven't words. used any salt yet. Well, that's already looking cleaner. I haven't put any liquid on the carpet. No. So it's actually drawing the liquid out of the carpet mm -hmm. that's gone into the underlay, and so far we haven't used any formula. Now we'll do it with the formula. So let's start okay. actually washing it rather than just vacuuming it up. So now we're actually adding formula, and you can see that the formula is being forced into the carpet. Once again, the power of the missile is drawing that formula and, of course, the dirt that the formula has encapsulated yep. out of the carpet. That is quite amazing. And do you know what? I actually thought I'd gone a bit over the top with the custard and the orange juice and Not all of that. I thought I was a bit worried that I maybe had made a rod from the own back. What you've got to remember is that things on the surface are no problem for this machine because this machine is designed to get dirt that's embedded in the exactly. bottom of your carpet. So when you've got grit that's actually been stamped into your carpet and is embedded in the bottom, this machine is designed to get that out. Getting something off the surface, no problem. Come and have a look here, folks. Come and have a look at my fingers, right? I'm not going to tell you this is dry, because it isn't. But if I just rub my fingers like that and then show you my fingers... See, there's a tiny bit of moisture on my fingers, but not a lot. And I'll tell you something... There is no smell of beer, wine, custard, all mm. the stuff that we... I, I promise you, there is no after smell of that on my fingers at all. That is amazing. It's truly amazing. There is... Uh, I, I have yet to have a challenge for this that it hasn't risen to. Now, that's not going to happen no, in most no. homes, apart from my floor managers on a regular basis. I, right? I think your floor manager I, struck me as more of a shandy drinker okay, than a lager right. drinker, if I'm honest with you. But... Now, that's not going to happen in most mm. homes, but if it can deal with something mm -hmm. as strong as that, how... What I, what I don't want to do is people to think, well, I don't need that because I never have a no. mess like that. What we've just done is put it to the ultimate test. Let me give you an example, Martin. OK, sure. Which shows both of it. Some friends of mine, Debbie and Trevor, spilt some cooking oil on their almost white carpet, really light carpet. It attracted loads of dirt. They mopped up as much as they could, but you can't get all of it out. They said, Phil, have you got a machine that we can use? I took it along. I saw this stain about that big that had turned black because right. it had attracted all yes, the dirt. Of I thought, that's going to be a challenge. Yeah. Two sweeps with exactly this machine, and we took that stain away. And then I said, keep the machine for a couple of weeks, I don't need it, I'm away on holiday, have a play with it, do what you like. They brought it back to me two weeks later, they said, you've saved us a fortune. I thought, well, how have I saved you a fortune? It wouldn't have cost that much to no. get a man in. And they said, no, the idea was we were going to get rid of the stain because we had relatives coming around over Christmas. This is the Christmas before last. Yeah. So, but we did the rest of the carpet. We were going to replace it all after Christmas, replace the sofa, replace the footstool, but now that we've done all the carpet, we've realised we don't need to replace it. So you've the saved piles the come up. Yeah. We've refreshed it, it's all yeah. fluffy again, it's the colour that you yeah. remember it. The footstool, I watched them do a bit of the footstool and I thought, oh, well, I didn't realise it was that colour underneath there. Because remember, you can do your materials as well. Not only have yeah. we done the carpet and the floor, but you could use this on your sofa as well. And also, think about your car as well. Car headlining. Okay. We wash the cars on the outside. In the interior, we give it a quick run round with the vacuum, don't we? Take a look at this because you can use it on the interior, above the head, okay, on the um, the sun visors and things, the things like that that you maybe maybe you you maybe you're selling a car and it looks tidy on the outside but it looks a bit shabby on the outside. If you've used showroom shine on the outside to make it look as good as it possibly can. Maybe you want to get added value by making the interior. Or maybe it's the fact that you've dropped a drink in there, the kids have dropped some sweets which have stuck to the seat and then attracted dirt and things like that. This is the perfect answer. And I'm also suggesting, because this is on FlexiPay and you've got it on four payments of £52.50, sorry, £62.50, why not spread this between the family? OK, why not say, well, I'm grandma, I'm buying one of these, but I know my son and daughter will want to use it, I know my other son and his wife will want to use it, and I know that my grandchildren will probably want to use it. Why not spread the cost between the family? Say, look, let's get one as a family item, I'll make the first payment, you make the second payment, you make the third payment, and spread it that way, so that everybody benefits from the power of a Bissell. And you can do that as our pick of the day. Now, remember, pick of the day is only available to you until 9 o'clock tonight, and it will go up to 300...
and £19 uh, when it does. By the way, Bissell are the only machine that have the official seal to be able to use Scotchgard with their cleaner as well. So if you've got a Scotchgarded uh, product and you use a, another cleaner on it, you are invalidating your Scotch Guard warranty. However, this will even give you an applicator for your Scotch Guard and your Scotch Guard to go with it, and you will not invalidate your warranty by using Scotch Guard with your Bissell. Uh, you're also getting some cleaning um, fluids included as well. This is a great way to get hold of a Bissell right now. So we told you we'd bring you options here at Idle World. We've given you a hard floor cleaner and vacuum. Brilliant, that flip it. We've shown you a vacuum cleaner that is two vacuum cleaners in one. We're now showing you the pick of the day. And come back with me over here as we go back to um, Oh, you want, I'll bring that with you. I'll bring that with me. OK. Now, um, I've, I've done the Bissell with the Scotch card applicator before, mm -hmm. but you specifically me asked you to bring it over. Why was that, Phil? Because what we've got in our formula is we've got Scotch card added into it. So it puts a little bit of Scotch card in your carpet every time you use it. But when okay. a carpet comes from a mill, it has a lot of Scotch card in it. OK. So what we say is, actually, after a few years, when it's worn off, why not give it a brand new Scotch card treatment? OK. So what you do, you attach this tool, which only comes with this machine and one other Bissell machine. Right, yes. And all you do, on your damp carpet you've just cleaned, you just... a little scattering of Scotch Guard, like that. Oh, wow! Because it's damp, it will then spread throughout the carpet. That piece of carpet we've just done, once it's dried, is Scotch Guarded. That's done. OK. So you have a, a fully protected again, Scotch guarded. Fantastic. Carpet. I'll just put this back because that's part of our picture over but there. You thought you'd given me a challenge earlier on. Yeah. And I didn't think it was a challenge. Okay. So um, we'll make it more of a challenge. Oh no. Oh my word. That that's about half a liter of cola. Yeah, and there's some milk as well. Oh my word. And Lager. Sorry. Don't, don't do that in front of the cameraman. They'll come I and know. suck the carpet. I can, I can see the tears coming already. <laughs> So there you go, and as we said before, let's not just let it settle it, settle in, let's force it in, because it might take you a while to we'll get the machine out, it might take you a few minutes, so let's force this in properly um, into the carpet. I'm really sorry, but if that happened in your home, as far as I'm concerned, that carpet is ruined. Even the tiniest bit of milk in the carpet will go sour oh, it's and will terrible. start, and people and will come you... and go, Oh, what's that smell? Spill it in Ooh. your car on the way back from the supermarket. Yeah. What do you do then? Yeah. It yeah. makes your car stink. You either pray for a professional valet, which isn't cheap. No. Or you get your machine That's That is completely soaked into the carpet. I hope yeah. you can see that, everybody. There's no camera trickery here. You just saw Phil pour literally a pint of milk, half a can of lager, a litre of cola and orange juice into the, um, in, into the carpet. Now we're going to prove that the Bissell can not only remove that, but make the carpet clean again. No liquid, okay, just so vacuum. You're not actually using the cleaner at the moment. Just you're vacuuming just it up. Literally, with the power of the wet vacuum of the Bissell, drawing all see, of that cold stuff out. There's none on the surface out. there at the moment, but no. if you watch the front of the machine, you can see... If, if I just point in here, look how much liquid we've drawn out. This was empty at the start of our demonstrations. Not this one, the previous one as well. But as, as Phil moves it, this is actually nearly full. It's, it's drawing it out, even though it looks dry on the surface now. Can you now. see how much liquid... It, so that is filling up, literally. You can see it filling up before your very own eyes. When we go over that far side there, watch this now, it looks almost full now, this is. Look, so you can see the liquid going in there. See it? OK, so this is everything that we've drawn out of the carpet. And sometimes we never get to show that. So just going over it, seeing if there's any link, and there is, there's still stuff yeah. in there. Still bits and pieces, and you just keep going over until there's no more liquid coming out of it. And you okay. get the carpet as dry as you possibly can. Now, before can. we do any clear, I'm going to ask you to show everybody how to empty that, if you don't mind. Simplicity itself. Okay. Little handle, lifts off. Oh, it's oh, not sloshing a... everywhere. That's good. We've got a big Come over, over here with us, guys. So, I'm going to pull a little clip off the back. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, my word. Oh, dear, dear. That like... is almost full, isn't it? Like we don't have smelly vision. That is, oh. Because that's not nice. That milk has been under the studio lights a little bit too long. That is... But what my point is, look at all the liquid that we have drawn out of the carpet. If you were thinking, oh, this really can't draw uh, all of that liquid out, look at that. There must be six or seven pints of liquid. Do you remember what we said about um, we keep the clean water separate from the yes. dirty water? we can see that Just pour that out now. the dirty water. 
Have a look, folks. And we poured the out the dirty water. water, and there's your clean water that does your cleaning in that separate compartment. So there's still plenty of cleaning left in yeah. there. OK, let's go back, put it back together, and finish our, finish our job, shall we? Indeed. Now, that you could have tipped down the toilet or tipped down the sink or whatever yep. it might be. Down the drain. Yes, absolutely. Totally non-toxic. I just hope. I just wanted to see you getting it, it getting emptied before we run out of time. Not that it would make you could carry on cleaning with it full. Okay, but I just wanted to see what came out of the carpet. So what you're doing now is just picking up any lingering. Yeah, what we've got. Um, also, we've got edge to edge cleaning here. So up against the skirting board, if you can see there against the edge there, we've got a metal edge. This is actually an artificial way of doing it. It's actually yep. really difficult to get out the edge on this, but let's see what, how it goes. All right, yes, I can see the brush there on the other side. So it does, it gets right up against the edge. Wait till you go. see this come back. Look at this, right up against the right edge is now clean. There. And see, there is still an amazing amount of liquid coming out of the floor. Remember I pointed this out to you? Look, look how quickly this is filling up again. This isn't clean water that's going into the carpet. This is what the Bissell is drawing out of the carpet. That's quite incredible, isn't it? Well, what you've got is 1,850 watts through an incredibly small channel. So yeah. you've got a lot of force through a very small area. You know the, um, the very thick milkshakes that you can get from, um, from yeah. fast food takeaways? Yeah. How much effort you have to put in? That's what that's Something's doing. interesting, by the way. If you're watching this and you're thinking, well, this will work on dry stains as well. Oh, so yeah. if you're thinking that's going to fill up every time you use it, it isn't. Of course, it's only going to fill up if you're using it on a wet stain, but it will work on a dry stain as well. Now, Phil's been using the cleaning solution that's in there yep. while he's been running the Bissell over backwards and forwards. And turn to water rinse. Let's make sure we get all the soap out. Finish off with a water rinse. No and of course, on. you could Scotch guard it then yep. if you have a Scotch guard uh, uh, carpet. And what you're seeing there, and that's, now, that's not liquid that's still in the carpet. What Phil's actually doing is pulling the trigger yep. to force the water into the carpet and then drawing it out, exactly. cleaning it and drying it all at the same time. That's me without the trigger on, so that's pulling out the last few bits of water there. Much slower there, you can see there's not much water coming out no, now. that's it Because all almost. that power has, has taken it out. That is truly, truly amazing. Now, we've only got a couple of minutes left, but I... once again, I guarantee you, folks, if I look at this, OK, look at my fingers, there's only a small amount of moisture on my fingers. Look, I'm rubbing the carpet like that, and look, you can see just a small amount of moisture and absolutely no smell of cola, custard, egg, whatever it is that had gone down there. Remember, the great thing you said about the carpet being dry, you've got the, the advantage of being able to do just one room at a time, so you're only, you're only putting water on one room in the house. Yep. You haven't soaked every no. carpet in the whole house, which makes it difficult to dry. It's Tuesday afternoon, I'll do the back bedroom. It's Monday morning, I'll do by the doorway. You do it when it suits you and when it fits you. Do you know what? Style. You vacuum once a week or twice a week. Why not use the Bissell once every fortnight, every month, whatever yep. it might be, to clean your carpets? Right, we're nearly out of time, so I need to remind you what we've seen, and then we'll close by telling you about this. Remember, here, this is your pick of the day, remember? The brilliant uh, Bissell uh, pick of the day. Uh, we'll come back to that in a moment, because don't forget you've got those formulas as well that Phil talked us through. You have the choice of the, um, the original, you've got the lavender, you've got orange, and you've got the pet odour and soil remover. But that can be used if you don't have pets, remember. Six of those for £49.99. If you own a Bissell, you'll know what a remarkable price that is. Remember at the start of the show, we gave you a few options. We showed you the Bissell lift-off as well, didn't we? Which is the uh, vacuum within a vacuum if you like and here it is coming up for you now it's the other one here it comes it's all right we've still got plenty of time there it is, fantastic. Love computers, don't you? 151535 is the Bissell Liftoff Bagless Vacuum. That comes with a two-year guarantee, remember? Uh, and that was the one that was a vacuum within a vacuum. You take the cylinder out to use that around the house. Then we've got the Flip It as well. <laughs> Computer's gone completely, <laughs> completely wrong now. I'll be punching it after the show, that's guaranteed. OK, um, now we've got uh, to give you the details of the pick of the day before we go. Can you give me a closing statement on this, sir? In my opinion, the ultimate. Right. The best you can do for your carpets. Two rows of brushes, two lots of heaters, smart mixer. You can change the formula that to suit your needs. Incredibly efficient, 1,850 watts of power through to the brushes and through that suction, 12 cleaning rolls, you've got your turbo brush built in, you've got your hose already attached, no fiddling about, not no. changing things. 
one liter to go from floor to tools. And we get all of this included you as guess. well, including the one point four two liter bottle of Wash and Protect with the Scotch Guard. Yeah. Two sample bottles, six five something mils, four seven three mils. Sorry. Get lots in there. The pet stain and odor trigger spray for yeah. just those little bits where you don't want to drag the machine out. Hard floor. This machine can do hard floors. We didn't have time to demonstrate it, but it's you can squeegee, hard floor yeah. clean. Hard floor as well. And you will not see that anywhere else. Pure Scotch Guard in an applicator. Put your carpet back to how it was when it left the carpet mill. Brilliant Deep job. Cleaned We're and out protected. of time, I'm afraid, Phil. Remember, this is your pick of the day. You can get it all day. It's been an absolute pleasure to meet you and Thank to you. work with you. You've got to get a Bissell. See you later.